and welcome to episode 29 of the AFC Wimbledon Youth Squad Legends Series. I'm your host, high temperature, a little bit bunged up. Overall, yeah, pretty good. Now, before we get on with this first match of the episode, there are some people who don't think I'm doing the comments section anymore in these videos. Don't think I've abandoned it. I love reading out your comments. It's just that it takes time to collect all these comments and make it into a funny, something that I haven't been able to commit to in the last week or so. It's basically just a big battle against a constant workflow. It's Walsall against AFC Wimbledon. It's Bondarchuk with the spinny spinny. Hang on, that's a penalty, isn't it? Well, I mean, we've got a penalty inside the first two minutes. I'm not too sure what that Walsall defender was thinking of. Very silly decision to go in like that on Bondar Chuck. It's a clear penalty. Mick Stanko to take. You better be careful with this. Are you joking me? I am livid. I should really put my arms down now. Yeah, I'm going to do that. People were defending the penalty system. Go on, Jan. Well done. Wimbledon won. Walsall nil, but that should have come four minutes ago. Mick Stanko, thankfully, he is a better winger than he is a penalty taker. Inside to as like Salt Bondarchuk through the middle. Kirill Bondarchuk and Jan Albrecht have both scored. This is fantastic. Banana tent is hanging up over there. And I really should be wearing it. But this fits. Oh, yes! Oh, no. Okay. Kirill Bondarchuk does not score that. But we are cutting Walsall open. Ah, uh, you see. Come on. Oh, my goodness. That is a beautiful, beautiful goal. I can't really take it away from them. Well done, Walsall. Poor by Kamal Tim Cena here. He should be doing more. He stood them up. He's trying to go for the standing tackle and misses completely. <laughs> Interesting to see that we've been so creative and productive with uh, the midfield of Aslak Salt and Adam Nichols. Oh, Brian Ash has had an absolute mare. Even though we've been quite impressive, there's a good chance we could still lose this. I don't think Brian Ash has got what it takes to be an AFC Wimbledon player. He's got some good points, but mostly bad. So, how have we gone from 2 0 up to losing 3 2? Come on, boys. I've just seen you score twice. Run for me. Open it up. Kirill Bondarchuk. Are oh, you daft? One more attack before the half is done. Jan Albrecht, our furthest player forward, is Adam Nichols with a back heel to Kirill Bondarchuk. 3-3. Three, three. I love that move. Go you! Oh, Five-star skill moves to the rescue. Mick Stanko. Now then, can we turn defence into attack? Mick Stanko believes so. Oh, it's a wonderful ball. Kirill for the hat-trick. Well then. Nice of you to turn up, Kirill. I've missed you. Probably the same height as well. Bit suspicious. Mix, what are you hiding? There's a block by Marvellous. And Brian Asher. Big defending. By both of them, to be fair, and still... It is now Walsall 4, Wimbledon 4 in this mammoth game. You love that pressure. They're gonna have to whack this. Oh, just make me look like an absolute fool. This Titanic clash cannot end in a draw. There must be a winner. Ah, my nose. Ten minutes or so, marvellous billiard. Jan Albrecht, surely. Go on. Oh, hard and low. Jan Albrecht. Yeah, yeah, efficient, good. Yeah. Jan Albrecht to complete a hat trick. <laughs> Nine. Great start to the episode. We got Kirill Bondarchuk, a hat trick. We got Jan Albrecht, two goals. Before this match, they were both struggling to score. Madness. I thought this was going to be a 1 0 affair. We have a mixture of first team and fringe players here to play Doncaster in the FA Cup second round. Eric Melvinia. Ah, ah, Eric Melvinia. Ah. Uh, boys. Boys! The CPU with the clinicalness today. Big question for these players now. How far do you want to get into the FA Cup? We're one round away from getting a really big tie, possibly. Kawamya. No, that's very, very quick and precise by Doncaster. So, Eric Melville puts the ball down. 24 yards. I've not put any spin on it. It wasn't too bad. Perfecting free kicks on FIFA. 
or brain surgery. Which one do you think needs a university degree? There's arguments for both sides. Penalties or rocket science? Next goal super important, and I think Doncaster might just be about to get it with passes like that. Yeah, I can only admire it. Elvis Bonoza, maybe a first goal for him or return it back to Callum O'Flannery. Needed that before half time. It makes it manageable. I wouldn't celebrate like that in front of the home fans though. Today, I seem to have lost the power of defending. It's time to activate ultimate sweat mode. <laughs> Django is Eric Mel. Alvino on side! Yes! Oh, oh, sweat! Very, very boring in the end from Doncaster Rovers running down the clock, running scared of Wimbledon. That being said, we couldn't defend them in the first half. Deja vu, Doncaster away. This time in the league, they're getting a full strength Wimbledon lineup. I'm taking these trousers off a of Conquo. Go on, Conquo! Finish! Yeah! <laughs> Oh, Conquo! That's a lovely ball. Uh, hey, and look at that save from Enzo Body. The distribution qualities. Edge of the box, passing again. This time, yes! Enzo Body, Dalibor Bekic. Yes, lads. In you go, Jacob. Whoa. What? Is that a red card? You know what? They did it in the last match. Why don't we just kill some time? Ruin all the drama and excitement. Oh, you want the ball? That's a shame. Oh, this is so what you deserve. There's nothing like giving Doncaster a bit of their own medicine. And that's a 1-0 victory. Somehow that mess of a game has took us back up to second place. AFC Wimbledon against Shrewsbury Town, whose away kit is purple for some odd reason so it's forced us to play in something other than blue and i've decided you know what we don't play in it often let's bring out the white kit pass to adam nichols we got a conquo <laughs> oh a conquo has buried that one he's put an unreasonable amount of power in it the goalkeeper just stands there and watches a banger from Mikel Okonkwo. If the goal didn't have a net in it, it would have took someone's head off. Game's been played predominantly on the left-hand side. Okonkwo sets up Boris Stiapovic. Oh, no! Boris with the hold-up. Okay, Django Swinkles. Look at Stiapovic's run. You just knew it. Finish this. Boris, all the way! Distribution from Enzo Body. Pinpoint beautiful. That is exceptional. Sometimes that man is an outstanding goalkeeper. He's made the third goal. Eric Melvinia. Oh, Enzo Body. Oh, <laughs> My goodness! He is mental! A conquo! Oh! Calm down! A conquo! Just careful! Careful! We'll have to buy new goal frames if you keep on doing this. Django Swinkles. Yeah, I think a conquo is onside. Well, he's finishing that one. Wimbledon 4, Shrewsbury nil. Breathtaking performance. That's AFC Wimbledon 4. Shrewsbury Town nil. We could have got more than four. Easily more than four. Final game of this episode, we have Luton Town with the 80 overall. Hugo Warilo against AFC Wimbledon. Schneeg, good clearance. And again, boys, Schneeg body, big save. Schneeg, yes. All right, calm, calm, calm. <laughs> oh, lovely. Well, going forward, we could do a lot more, but defensively, it's been very, very sound. Really impressed by the Schneg Beckic partnership. Have we got anyone here that's gonna stand up and break this deadlock? Well done, Schneg. Finds as like salt. There we are, this is it. We are gonna break the deadlock with Boris Stiapovic. He's not gonna miss. Boris Stiapovic doing exactly what Boris Stiapovic was bought to do. Beckic might finally feel like there's some cover behind him. Oh, that's a good ball. That is a very good ball and Enzo Barney's coming out. Oh, they've gone wide! They've gone wide with the shot! Woo! Just about the right decision there by Enzo Bardi. Schneeg! Yes! Oh, and again! Schneeg! Wait, Beckich! Get it out! Oh boy, that is some luck. 
Fantastic work. Bekic, what a player. Schneeeeeg! Schneeeeeg! I think I'm gonna leave you with that image of Maximus Durante bending over. This has been Cutsy. Thank you ever so much for watching this episode of Youth Squad Legends. If you've enjoyed it, then please give the video a like if you're not subscribed around here yet. And press the red box down below and the bell icon for mobile notifications. I will see you next time.